Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. Roll call, please. Councilmember Wiggins? Yep, here. <laughs> Councilmember Pogenport? Here. Councilmember Scribner? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Davies? Here. Mayor Smith? Here. Everyone is present. If you stand for the invocation, uh, community pastor Nigel Morris will lead us. Good evening. Good evening. And thank you for being here for us. May we pray together. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the distinguished members of our city council and their continued commitment to serve the residents of Tehachapi. Please give them your wisdom and the vision needed to serve well. Lord, will you richly bless them and their families. Heavenly Father, please oversee and protect every agency and individual engaged in helping or assisting others, and whether from your heart or from your hand, equip them with everything they need to fulfill their various functions and duties. As we ask for their protection, we also remember those servicemen and women here at home and those deployed around the world, particularly those separated from their families and loved ones. Grant them all your amazing and incredible grace as they serve their country. Finally, Lord, last but not least, would you bless our business community with your favor so that they prosper here, and in doing so, may they contribute to the vitality and continued well-being of our city and its surrounding areas. Thank you, Lord, in your great name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. <coughs> Susan, would you lead us today? Yes. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item is our consent agenda. These items are marked with an asterisk. They're considered uh, non-controversial and routine and will be taken by one motion. If anyone wants to have something removed from consent, just uh, raise your hand and we can have separate discussion for that. Council? Okay, do I have a motion to approve consent as presented? I'll make that motion, Mayor. I second. We'll call vote, please. Councilmember Wiggins? Yes. Councilmember Provencourt? Yes. Councilmember Scribner? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davies? Yes. Mayor Smith? Yes. It was a 5 0 vote to approve the consent agenda. Okay. Next item is our audience oral and written communications. Were there any written communications? We do have a speaker's card from Tammy Wilner, who is a city resident, if you'd like to come up. Yes, please. <coughs> Good evening. Hello. How are you guys? Doing well, thank you. <laughs> um, okay. I just wanted to say, um, my name's Tammy. My parents, I know some of you know my parents, Bob and Patty Souza. I used to live in Bear Valley, and then I moved to Tehachapi when they sold the winery. I live on Elm Street. Um, we've lived there almost four years. And my concern is people drive very fast down the street. And I was wondering what can be done before some accident occurs, someone gets killed on that street. I mean, they're going way over the posted limit of 25. Just want to know what can be done, if anything, speed bumps, a stop sign at Brentwood and Elm. I know they put one in a school area just past Brentwood and Elm, but I am on Elm. And they use it to go to Warrior Park, coming back from Warrior Park. It's like Valley. They drive at least that speed limit. So I'm just wondering if possibly something could be done. I know the police have been looking into it as well. Yes, you want to look at that? So it's on our radar. Our chief of police and uh, public works director and engineer are sitting in the audience. And we do we have talked about this and we're studying it now. Okay. So we'll come up with the solution. Okay. I think it's the best safe solution. Perfect. Stop signs are not always the answer. Okay. Speed bumps are not always the answer, but we can right. figure something out. I was going to sure. even buy a sign, spend a thousand dollars, and put it on the street, like slow down, you know, like children. Just because I'm afraid. Of that. We don't want you to spend your own money. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure okay. it out. No residents.
than it is to spend okay. their own money. And we have your speaker yes. card with your name and phone. I don't have my card on there. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. For coming. Thank you. In, in the meantime, we have some direct controls out there. I believe Sergeant Clark may have contacted you personally and spoke with you about that, ma'am. Yes, yes. Okay. I have seen a couple officers, but I noticed in the morning there was a couple, but okay. it's at various times of we'll all day. We'll trying to be out there. It's definitely, it's definitely uh, heavily, heavily traveled during uh, passing times for school. <laughs> Use that pretty right. yeah. I just would love something. I mean, I Absolutely. don't want to have to move if I don't have to. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Okay, Do we still you. have a... Go ahead. Um, this is also happening on Mulberry and Oakwood as well. They And it's not during school time. It's in the evening and whatnot. And my daughter's gone out and yelled at them in the whole night. <laughs> yeah, hours. I water her and I see them just fly down our street. It's yeah. like, ah! Yeah. Thank you. Do we still have the portable message sign that we could? That's got the speed limit. Uh, it says speed limit and then your speed. Yeah, we don't have that. Yeah, that that, that I think is um, expired. Yeah. Expired. <laughs> Do we need something like that again, just for visibility or reminders? I, I, just if I could add, it, just to uh, ask for a little bit of patience, we have a couple of items. I've been working with the city of Bakersfield on a, on a cocktail of uh, residential street speed reduction techniques. Um, so this is a big issue all over, and as the town changes, roads change, right? So I've been in contact with my counterparts at the city of Bakersfield. They're working on an extensive study to come up with some different techniques that we employ in different places. So there's, there's to your point, um, uh, council member uh, Pogencourt, there we've got two or three different locations we're tracking. This one is on our list. That's why I want the phone number so that I can contact you back when, when I have a chance to come up with a solution for this. So just you just need a couple of months to pull this stuff together. Yes. So, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Before I forget, uh, one of the scout leaders, leave your information so that we're going to come up with a project somehow that the Girl Scouts would work on within the city, other than just litter cleanup. You know what I mean? If there's something, so within the next six months or something, we can have some kind of a project, but make sure we have your information before you leave them, okay? I've got Nina's contact information. Okay, great. So we could come up with something that would be great. All right. Are there any other non-agenda items that someone wants to bring up before the council? All right, then. Um, next item is comments. Item number six, finance director's reports. Uh, Bills and claims for RSI Petroleum. Uh, Mayor Smith, I need to recuse myself because I'm an employee of RSI Petroleum. Okay. <coughs> What we're doing now is paying a bill for a petroleum company. So if anyone would like to comment or have a question about paying the bill, if not, any council comment? Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. Roll call vote, please. Councilmember Wiggins? Yes. Councilmember Pogancourt? Yes. Councilmember Scribner? Yes. Mayor Smith? Yes. It's a formal vote to approve the disbursements and bills for RSI Petroleum with a recusal from Mayor Pro Tem Davies. Okay, thank you. Number eight, our finance director, Mama Jones. Good evening. Good to see you. Good evening. Thank you, Mayor Smith and council members. Uh, this item um, is to uh, uh, revise the uh, authorized signers for the city uh, because at the October 3rd council meeting, the council appointed a new city treasurer. And so uh, the city is now required to update our signature cards with our two local banks, Bank of the Sierra and Bank of the West. So with that, staff recommends that the council adopt the resolution authorizing designated officers to deposit, disperse, and or transfer funds into and out of savings accounts and demand deposit accounts, and to deposit funds and accept certificates of deposit from any federally or California state chartered bank located within the state of California and repealing resolution number 11-22. And I'm available for any questions you may have. Are there any questions with what we're doing? We had a city treasurer uh, resign and 
we had to appoint a new city treasurer. So for them to do their duties and be able to sign certain documents, we have to approve that. Is there any questions or comments from the audience? From the council? Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. All second. Roll call vote, please. Councilmember Wiggins? Yes. Councilmember Pogenport? Yes. Councilmember Scribner? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davies? Yes. Mayor Smith? Yes. It was a 5 0 vote to adopt a resolution as presented. Thank you. City Manager's report. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, Mayor Smith. Um, I want to say thank you to Linda Carhart and all of her volunteers yeah. for the Apple Festival this weekend on Friday and Saturday. There were thousands of people in our town. All the restaurants were were filled, and it was a great, safe event. The Tash Street Police Department had a booth uh, on Green Street, a nice look. Um, so thank you to Linda and everybody involved with the Apple Festival and all the recipients of those um, donations that she's going to be handing out, I'm, I'm sure, very soon. Uh, if Chief Crager could make his way up, I'd like Chief to talk, it was on the agenda earlier, it was on consent, but talk about the Tactical Police Department's Special Olympics Torch Run. This is a special event that happens every year. I'd like Chief to elaborate on this a little bit. Thank you. So uh, October 27th, Torch Run, uh, partnering with Special Olympics again. I've brought my communications and records supervisor, Ms. Carrie Ann Ritchie, with me. She is uh, really passionate about this event. She's been heavily involved in planning it, and she's going to tell you what we're going to do. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Uh, it's an honor to share this event with you. Um, the law enforcement torch run was created to raise awareness and um, raise funds for the Special Olympics. Um, it also was created 25 years ago, I think, for um, basically to strengthen bonds between the community and law enforcement. We're always looking for ways to do that. Um, this event is close to my heart because I think <coughs> that the intellectually impaired individuals of our country are forgotten or don't get the attention that they deserve. And this is for them. This is their event. Um, we participate so that we can raise the money for the local Kern division. So everything that we raise goes stri strictly, strictly to Kern County. Um, the Tashby Police Department has participated in the last several years. But last year was told and shared to me by the manager of the current district that our agency put on the best law enforcement torch run last year. Wow. So this year is my goal to make it even better. This is my first time ever um, helping with this event. And the event will, like Chief said, mm -hmm. take place on October 27th, which is next Thursday. Um, it starts at 10 a.m. It's a half mile run walk. Um, we're getting the athletes at a really good time of the year. Last year, it was right after they had already gone to the games. This year, it's right before. So we are in, excited to get them cranked up for the games because they're gonna, we have many athletes that'll be there and their coaches will be there and we are there to honor and support them and be the guardians of the flame. So that is the purpose of this event and it'll be um, held at Centennial Plaza this year. Um, with your approval, we are closing Green Street between F and Tashby Boulevard, and we'll be taking, you have a map there with a little pamphlet that she gave you. Uh, it starts at Centennial Plaza, goes north on Green Street, takes Tashby Boulevard east, then goes up Robinson past City Hall, and then we take East Street back to Green Street, and then ends there. Very good. If you've never seen this event, it's really incredible. It's just, we uh, we do it every year, and it's really just a, a lot of fun to go out with these athletes. Uh, they really are really enthusiastic about it, enjoy it, and just uh, really uh, heartwarming event. So um, we gave you guys some information. You can sign up. You can come out and walk with this, run with this, come out, uh, stand along the sidelines, and cheer the athletes on. Uh, donate to our team. I believe we, we raised the most money in Kern County last year. We raised almost like fifteen hundred dollars last year, and we're trying to trying to beat that this year. So uh, uh, t-shirts and all that stuff. So any, any uh, participation is uh, greatly appreciated. Well, congratulations for having the best in Kern County from last year, and uh, best again and a bigger 
bigger showing. That'd be great. All right. Thank you. Any questions or uh, comments? I don't want to step on that oh. audience if they want to go first. Did the audience want to comment? Okay. It sounds like there are a few ways we can be involved. Do you have a specific ask for the council today? I think sometimes if you put a challenge out there, it, it uh, in I, public. I would challenge each one of you to go on the uh, website there, join the Tehachapi Police Department team, and I'll see you at 10 a.m. Thursday morning at Centennial Plaza where we can walk the course together. We'll do, and I'll be there. Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. I walk. <laughs> <laughs> and then Go as ahead. a reminder, we have coffee with the mayor this Thursday at Commons Cafe, formerly uh, Mill Street, or Coffee Mill. Coffee Mill. Coffee Mill. Okay, thank you. All right, council member reports. Christina? Oh, um, did we skip the city manager report? He did his. Oh, oh good. Yes. I just don't want to go out of order. Um, I just want to say thank you to Harper and all of our Girl Scouts out there. You are our future leaders, and I believe that to the bottom of my toes. <laughs> I was a Girl Scout once upon a time, and so many of the activities that you are experiencing right now, from cookie sales to um, the amazing uh, community projects that you are undertaking are going to equip you to someday go work to raise money for our hospitals or to um, run for city council. And so I just hope you know that um, many of us up here were involved in Girl Scouts and it did lead us to get involved in ways that really brought richness and meaning to our life. So I'm just really proud of each and every one of you and I just want to offer myself as a personal resource if I can ever be of service to any one of you. So thank you for being here and, and keep up the good work. Yes. Michael. Well, I have never been a Girl Scout, but I do, su <laughs> I do support the cookies program. <laughs> so we uh, had a couple of my daughters in it, and I remember one year we had 650 cases of cookies. <laughs> and my little Dodge Caravan was full and my garage was full of cookies for two weeks. And then if people ordered and wasn't available, I had to buy them. So I, I support the Girl Scouts. I appreciate what you do. I've been a leader of the Boy Scouts for many years. So uh, it, takes, uh, it takes your parents to get you involved, but you guys take over and take charge and you're the new next generation. And you guys are leaders in your school, your leaders in your, your friends, and that's really what's, what it's all about, just to be the stand-up person and be a better person for it. And I do appreciate everything that you do. Awesome. Susan? Um, well, <laughs> uh, to show you how old I am, <laughs> I was a brownie in 1957 in Mojave. <laughs> And I worked my way all the way up until I was a first class Girl Scout. In the meantime, I sold Girl Scout cookies for 50 cents a box. Whoa. What are they now? Five or 550? Six. 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 They're still good. <laughs> yeah, you should have bought them for me. <laughs> I think it's, it is a wonderful organization. It's wonderful what all of you are doing. And, um, need any help let us know and we are certainly going to find a good good project for you yes thank you yeah. john oh well i was also a brownie a bluebird and a girl scout so I was <laughs> wow this is a home run up with here the, today. With the cookies and the whole nine yards also i have a special needs brother who is 77 years old and i have coached in the special olympics in several different areas and it's a hoot you need to go. And I also got a hole in one at the Special Olympics golf the last time. All right. Ooh. My name is on the thing in, wow. in the clubhouse. <laughs> so anyway, it's it's lots of fun. And if you get the opportunity to go, you should go. So I guess I've met another famous person, and she's on our council. <laughs> oh, I have two. Uh, oh, hold on. Okay. okay. <laughs> No less at those special things. So uh, I was, uh, it was a Make a Wish Foundation uh, wish uh, young man, uh, Logan. He wanted to be a superhero, and that was his wish. And this weekend, uh, they started out at the BK Theater inside, 
and they had him coming in and they were watching a football game it looked like and I'm not sure I didn't get to watch him watch that but it was interrupted by oh the villain has come to hatch me with bad apples or something like that <laughs> and he had to save the day and super Logan and his dad his sidekick dad they dress up in their superhero suits and he, they had him lift this 500 pound barbell to get warmed up. Then off they went over to Fiddler's Crossing to find the sour apple that the villain was gonna give to the mayor to make him <laughs> disoriented. And the next thing he comes over to City Hall where I'm stuck, splatted under a two ton rock. Okay, out in front of City Hall, my legs are sticking out. Uh, and we're yelling, help, help, Super Logan. He comes over and pushes the giant rock off of me. You should have seen his face. He just, Aww. I mean, he's like, just turned 11. This was his wish, and he saved the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a crowd. It was the, uh, what was the group of the kids? The uh, Interact Club, which is also Yes, Farmers the Interact Club. Yeah. And a bunch of other kids that were following with signs that he's, Super Logan was their hero. And he was followed with an entourage of people cheering him on. Uh, he got to save some veterans that were stuck in the in the veterans hall. They were soldiers. He gave them pins to so that they wouldn't be affected by the steam coming up. And then uh, we went back to the BK Theater where I gave him all these awards and he was just thrilled. So his make a wish, his was the 1,000th wish for this region, which goes all the way from the Oregon border down to central California into Nevada a ways and then down to Kern County. That's what I understand. So the thousandth wish was granted here in Tehachapi, and it was wonderful. It was so great to see this and all the volunteers. Key, thank you so much for being involved with this. You were key on this. <laughs> but uh, did you have any other comments about no, Just thank you for saying yes. Yes. <laughs> there was never a, you didn't hesitate at all. It was yes. Yes. What can I do? So he saved the mayor about under a rock. It looked <laughs> real. This was from the theater group. I mean, it was fun. So, um, and then, uh, so that was the highlight of the weekend. And then uh, on the uh, truck climbing lanes, I did get one response from Senator Feinstein that she sent a letter to uh, the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, uh, you know, asking to, she put her full support. So I got one letter out of the 15 that wrote back and said that they were, they were helping us out. So keeping our hands, our fingers crossed on that. Yes, isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So with that, that concludes the regular part of the meeting. We're going to go into a closed session and have some discussions on some legal matters that we can't discuss here. But if there's anything decided, we have to come back and report what we've decided. I'll let you know what it was. So uh, we'll go that. And if there's anything to report, we'll come back here and do that. But y'all can go home. But <laughs> let's have a round of applause for our Girl Scouts. the leaders and the parents of so the parents you guys have. Thank you for coming and inviting me to talk to you. Okay.